So group four. Madame Leader. Or who is the leader? Yeah, Madame Leader. Sorry, um, sorry for disappointing you. So this is group four, I was a group leader, but we chose the roles um, voluntarily. Um, James was the, was the timekeeper, Andrew was the scribe, and we had Joey as the architect. Um, in <laughs> The lead, the lead person with the instructions because um, she's the one who. So, our pyramid, or our tower, was inspired by our thinking of a pyramid. Um, we wanted to Google what a tower is, but we uh, the internet was so, so. The sketch was drawn by Joyce, and we basically followed the drawing for um, what a pyramid would be like. And Joy was um, telling us how the instructions to join. In. And then we came in and described at some point actually um, was joining because of oh, his height to help us all the <laughs> So at some point we, we shared so many roles, they are not strict um, roles. So. Madam Architect, come on, tell us about you. So. Beams to be reinforced as well, and then we came up with an almost look alike of a pyramid. <laughs> 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 what was frustrating? The frustrating. What was frustrating? I think we um, trying to make it beautiful and trying to. Stick to the stick to the design that we had, but then also at some point everyone had instructions. <laughs> <laughs> everyone knew what this should look like. We, we needed particular colors, and then we are like we don't have the time. But later on, we all agreed and said, regardless of our differences. Regardless of um, you know, what we need to do, we need to make this task done and it has to come out to look close to what we have in the sketch. Yeah. Mr. Scribe, what did you what did you write down? Um, what we basically what I basically wrote, we started by allocation of the different roles. Where we had the timekeeper, the secretary, the leader, the actor, and uh, the designer. And then we also sat down and defined what a tower was. So we said that was a tall building. And then um, we said that we were going to do a pyramid with uh, places and some bit of blue there. And then we also decided that we are going to reinforce it by making it double. And then we started, Joyce start, told us to start by joining three at a time. So to manage time, Joyce and Joyce started the elevation. <laughs> so, yeah, it is very hard to be in that role because you get pulled in many, many different directions. And then afterwards, nobody has a single no. So this is in your projects, uh, in your PhD projects, in your lab projects, in um, you want to take notes. You want to sit down and write down what happens. So that when you have to report to your professors, to your lab managers, to the department chair, you can actually pull out and say, this was the process. This is what we agreed to. This is what happened. Any group goes quickly, usually, through three phases, norming, storming, and forming. Yeah? So we first uh, 
norming is we need to agree to the task that we are assigned. Forming is who does what in this group. Um, and the, the storming is there's different ideas, there's disagreement, there's uh, differences of opinion of what would look best, what would work best, how. So that's where a leader can really facilitate this process and say, so here we have three different ideas, uh, what would be the best that we should do? Yeah. So as you look in your own teams, or in, in your own research projects, you will see that this is, and this happens over and over again. With every new process, a group will undergo this type of, of realignment. So, and some groups are faster at that, and some groups are slower at that. And we will, um, after tea break, talk about why this happens. Thank you.